I'm Dr. Karen Lindgren. I'm the Senior Director of Neuropsychology Services at Bancroft Neuro Rehab, and I've been here for 19 years. A neuropsychological evaluation is like a snapshot of your cognitive functioning with the aim to provide diagnostic information to the physician as well as a comprehensive treatment plan to help a person return to their level of functioning. A neuropsychological evaluation is an important diagnostic tool for a person whenever they suspect changes in cognitive functioning. Sometimes the reasons for changes are obvious. A person's had a brain injury or they've had a concussion and you're trying to understand if cognition has changed as well. I really recommend for families to talk to their physicians about whether or not a neuropsychological evaluation is appropriate if they have any concerns about a loved one's cognition. So if they're seeing changes in memory or changes in judgment or changes in planning, initiation, anything, they may want to talk to the physician about whether a neuropsychological evaluation can be helpful. It's often really important for families to get neuropsychological evaluations early on in the process before a condition has progressed. A neuropsychological evaluation is administered in an office with a neuropsychologist or with a psychometrician who works closely with the neuropsychologist to administer all of the tests. Families will typically take part in the interview with their loved one and then leave the loved one for the testing process. Once a neuropsychological evaluation is completed, the neuropsychologist will make sure that the family and the patients come back for a comprehensive review of the test. The most important thing a neuropsychological evaluation will reveal about an injury is what areas of preserved cognitive strength a person has and what are areas of deficit or weakness. And the goal will be to develop a comprehensive treatment plan so that a person uses their areas of strength to compensate for their areas of weakness. 